Let's find out what exactly the legal issues are regarding this. Martin Kwebu is a private legal practitioner. He's joined us by, by phone for a quick chat. Mr. Kwebu, good evening. Thank you for your time. Yes, good day, Martin. Hey. Yes. yes. To, start, to start with, uh, I mean, there are those who are expressing, first of all, shock that a member of parliament or an, um, an incumbent, someone seeking to go to parliament, is sharing food to people who are in a queue to go and vote. Is that a contravention of law or that is just someone, you know, being sympathetic to the fact that people are queuing up and so deciding to do, you know, um, being generous? Oh, Martin, it's definitely a contravention of law. Definitely, because the laws, I'm talking about section 34 of the representation of the people law, 1992, called PNDC law 284. It's against such conduct. It's called treating. Treating is when you give somebody meat, drink, or provision, or entertainment to mm. entice the person to vote. So Lydia uh, Hassan has been captured on camera doing that. So there's no telling back. This is the case that the special prosecutor has to call her in and of course begin her processes for criminal investigations, or to continue, because actually I've uh, uh, heard the special prosecutor has issued a notice that they started investigations into the matter. But mm -hmm. trust me, once the cameras have caught her, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. She cannot run away. I've heard they're trying to deny, but listen, it's too little, too late. She's on camera, okay? Mm -hmm. she, she, she's in the video clip showing her giving out food, etc. That's against the law. Right. But are you, I, I mean, would you be among those who are also surprised that those who are also receiving are people who are security officers and should actually know better? They should be upholding the law. So if they are also receiving and technically abetting this offense, how do we manage this situation? If you are suing the giver or you're taking on the giver, how about the receiver who is a law enforcement officer? Yeah, so in matters like this, it can be a policy to uh, rather prosecute the giver because the giver who is causing all this, right? The giver, because you know, these people generally ask our money. It's a public case that they speak. We all know this government is very corrupt. When you see them giving a lot of money, you ask that how much is an MP salary or what business uh, this was she doing that she can give us so much money, right? So you target the giver, because the giver, obviously, we all know that most of the time the money is our taxpayers' money that they will split contracts, they will take 46 million and say they are dredging or donor and not use all of the money to dredge or donor, then it can be found elsewhere, etc. Mm -hmm. right? So a market like this, you target the giver, because the poor prison officers, huh? the, the Ghanaian worker is generally not well paid. I'm not making a speech, but... Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that generally, matters like this, when the people are really, you target the source of the trouble. Right. If she hadn't come with the, those goodies, those people wouldn't have accepted. Mm. And so because she's high profile, if you take her and prosecute her, it will send a strong signal to other like-minded persons to stop. Okay. Uh, and my in this regard, right. my, my... may I remind the OSC that the last time for Kikanya could they take it in, the OSC started investigation. We had the matter of go to court, the mm -hmm. high election. It's been over six months now, no news. So OSC, before you can say you are properly investigating this media alert and matter, we might see the Professor Nyaku case go to court. The by election to where the professor was bribing the EC officer. Right. And my final question would also be on the voter practices. We've seen people take pictures of how they voted which is also not supposed to happen. And it's happened consistently, even in regular primaries of political parties, now in national elections. How can we stem this tide beyond what maybe the NCC is expected to be doing of public education? Okay, so this one too, is conduct that is prohibited under section 31 of the same PLDC law 284. 
So that section is about secrecy uh, of the, the ballot, right? So it says that a person who goes to obtain such information, that you go to the police station looking for information about how somebody has voted or will vote, commit a crime. And then, number two, the one who communicates such information. So the presidential staffer who has put that in online, I think once again, because he's high profile, it comes to the third presidential staffer, let's take him. Let's take him and then he'll be prosecuted to serve as a different like-minded person. Mm. And the punishment is either 6,000, up to 6,000 Ghana cities fine, or up to a maximum of two years imprisonment. Yes, so that's section 31 of the PNDC law 284. So it's a crime. Mr. Kwebu, thank you so much for making time to speak with us.